Hi guys, it's Miss Gold. Today's lesson is Module 1, Lesson 8, Ratios of Fractions and Their Unit Rates. Your outcomes for today's lesson are students use ratio tables and ratio reasoning to compute unit rates associated with ratios of fractions in the context of measured quantities such as recipes, lengths, areas, and speed. Students work together and collaboratively to solve a problem while sharing their thinking process, strategies, and solutions with the class. This second outcome is something that you'll be doing tomorrow in class. Let's take a look at example one. During their last workout, Izzy ran two and a quarter miles in 15 minutes, and her friend Julia ran three and three quarter miles in 25 minutes. Each girl thought she was the faster runner. Based on their last run, which girl is correct? There's actually a bunch of different ways for you to be able to solve this type of problem and to serve as review or to possibly introduce you to some of these methods. We're gonna take a look at five different ways to solve this problem. Let's begin with a table. Now, what I've done here is I've just created some blank tables and the first one, obviously we know that Izzy ran two and one quarter miles in 15 minutes and her friend Julia ran three and three quarter miles in 25 minutes. So we definitely know that we need to have miles in minutes. Um, and if you think about it, we know that an amount of time will determine how far they run. So the input here is going to be the minutes. So let's take a look at the first column here. We probably want to set this as time in minutes. For the second column though, if you think about it, we typically talk about speed in terms of miles per hour. So it will probably be helpful if we actually turn the time that we're given here into time in hours. And that would mean our third column would have to be our output of distance in miles. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here for Julia. Okay, so let's start with the original numbers that we're given. We know that we are given for Izzy 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, she ran two and one quarter miles. Now, to turn minutes into hours, we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, so we're going to have to divide, because if you think about this, we need to have a smaller amount for time in terms of hours. It needs to be less than one whole, because 15 minutes is less than an hour, so this is gonna be a fractional value. So this is going to be 15 over 60 and that's equivalent to a quarter of an hour. And if you weren't sure about that, if you actually take a look at a clock, you can see that 15 minutes takes up one quarter of the clock. So it makes sense that that would be one quarter. Now for the other values, we definitely wanna get an idea of how they're running for each time. So it'd be easiest if we actually doubled our 15 to 30 that would double one quarter to one half, and that would double our distance here to four and a half. And let's keep doing 15 minute intervals. So this would be 45, 60, 75. Over here, 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour, 60 minutes is one hour, and 75 minutes is one and one quarter hours. For a distance here, if we take our original and notice this is the third one down, so if we kept adding two and one quarter three times or multiplied two and one quarter by three, we'd get six and three quarters. By four it would be nine, and by five it would be 11 and one fourth. Okay, so that completes our table for Izzy. Let's take a look at Julia's. Now Julia's is slightly different. She ran three and three quarter miles in 25 minutes. So we're gonna go in 25 minute intervals. Now it's not as easy to see how much that's going to be in terms of a fractional value. So you definitely wanna do what we did over here with the um, number of minutes on the top and the 60 on the bottom. So we'll do 25 over 60. And this is actually going to reduce to 5 twelfths. 
and that was for three and three quarters mile. Okay, so we'll double that, giving us 50 minutes. So 50 over 60 is going to give us 5, 6. 75, 75 over 60 gives us 1 and 1 quarter. And 100 is 100 over 60. So that will give us one and two thirds. Now I'm actually going to stop there because I actually noticed something. If you see here, we can see that we have reached a common number of minutes between the two tables. And so that's one way that we could solve this is just by comparing them to see who has gone a farther distance in that same amount of time. So I'm not gonna go any further than 100 minutes. Let's fill out our distances though. If we double three and three quarters, we're going to get seven and one half. If we do three and three quarters times three, we get 11 and one fourth. And this last one is going to turn out to be 15. So if you take a look at this row and this row, they have the same amount of time. And so we can use that to answer the question, who is the faster runner? Because the faster runner would have gone a farther distance in the same amount of time. But what you notice is that they have actually gone the same distance. So we can actually conclude that the girls are running at the same rate. Another way to do this, and you don't have to create the entire tables, is that you can actually just find a unit rate. So let's say for instance, I wanna take Izzy's rate of two and one quarter miles in 15 minutes, and let's say I wanted to do it in miles per hour. So we would definitely have the miles on the top and the hours on the bottom. And I could pick any value off of this table above here, or I could just um, take her rate, and then I have to make sure that because I want hours, I gotta turn that minutes into hours. So I know on the top, we're gonna to have the two and one quarter. But instead of 15 minutes, I want hours, so we already calculated that that's going to be a quarter of an hour. And when you divide these, you actually get nine miles per hour. Let's do the same thing with Julia. So for Julia, her time for 25 minutes, but again, I want to do miles per hour, so I'm going to use 5 twelfths. So miles on the top, hours on the bottom. Miles was 3 and 3 quarters. And we're gonna divide that by 5 twelfths. And when you divide those two, you're also going to get nine miles per hour. And so that really reinforces the idea, the conclusion rather that we came to that the girls are running at the same rate. So let's take a look at a different way to do this. Now you can also use bar modeling to represent the scenario. What I'm really just gonna do is give you a refresher on bar modeling because you've used it before. So we have Izzy's rate of two and one quarter and dividing it by one fourth. Now, what you'll see here is that I have the original bar. So my bar, you can see, is each of these represents one hole. So this is one hole, another one hole, that's where the two holes come from. And then we created another bar, however, only one fourth of that bar is shaded. So that's the two and one fourth. And what we're dividing by is one fourth. So what that means is we're actually going to take each bar and divide it into fourths. So let's take this, we'll first divide it in half, and you just do this the best that you can. Okay, once we divide it in half, we'll divide each of those in half. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. All right, and this one is already divided into fourths. Then you're gonna count up how many you have shaded. So let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so that tells us that this is equivalent to nine. Let's do some more just for practice. Um, we have one and three quarters divided by one half. So here is my one whole. Here is three quarters. Notice it's divided into quarters in order for us to get the three quarters. Now, what we're gonna do here is divide it into half. So what I need to do is simply take the whole and divide it into two pieces. So let's do that here. And now even though this one is divided into fourths, we need to picture it as half. So I'm just gonna draw a line down here. 
and then we count how many half pieces we have. Here's one, two, three, and a half. So this would be three and a half. So there were three and a half half pieces. All right, let's take a look at our next one. We have two and one third. So here is my one hole, two holes, and then this third bar has been broken up into thirds and we only have one of the thirds shaded. What we're dividing by is one six. So we're breaking it down into six pieces each. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's break this down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And those may not be exactly equal, but we get the idea of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is broken into thirds, so if we actually just divided each of these in half, that would give us one six. Okay, so let's count up how many we have. Here are six, 12, 13, 14. So this will give us an answer of 14. So you can see that the bar modeling is a great way for you to really conceptualize and visually see what is going on when you're dividing fractions because that's such a hard thing for people to understand. How do you get bigger numbers when you're dividing by a fraction? And this really helps you to understand that. Another way that we can represent this situation is with equations. So we really want to use the idea of distance equals rate times time which you should have actually learned in science, and if you haven't, you will see it this year in science. So let's represent our two girls. First we have Izzy. And for Izzy, we're going to solve by plugging in what we were told. So we're gonna use her rate, and let's use it in hours again, so we'll use one fourth. So the distance that she traveled was two and one half miles. We don't know the rate, that's what we're going to solve for. We do know her time though was a quarter of an hour. So what I'm gonna do here is draw the wall and I have multiplication here with the R and the 1 fourth. So if I wanted to get rid of this 1 fourth, I'm gonna do the opposite operation of dividing. So let's divide the side by 1 fourth. And because it's an equation, I have to keep the balance of my equation. So if I do something to one side of the equation, I have to make sure I do it to the other side. So let's do the same exact thing over here. One fourth divided by one fourth cancels to become one, and one times r is r. And then when we divide these two, we get nine. So that's going to give us nine miles per hour. Let's do the, the same thing for Julia. Okay, her distance was three and three quarters. We don't know the rate, we're trying to solve for that. And we can turn her 25 minutes by doing 25 over 60. Okay, so again, same situation, let's draw our wall. And I have multiplication, so I wanna do division, so I'm gonna divide both sides by 25 over 60. When I do that, my 25 over 60 are going to cancel and become one, and one times r is r. And when we divide these two, we also get nine, and so this gives us the correct answer of the girls were traveling at the same speed. So one wasn't faster than the other. Another way to do this is through a picture. So what I have here is two circles to actually represent a clock. So we could represent how far they traveled in certain number of minutes by using a clock. So here I'm going to start with Izzy. Now Izzy, we know that her time that was given was 15 minutes. And we know 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So I'm actually gonna break down my clock into quarters. So we know that in each one of these, she traveled two and one quarter hours.
And the reason this is helpful is because it's going to tell us how much, or rather how far she traveled in one hour, which is our unit rate. We wanna know miles per hour. So what I'm gonna do is actually either add these up or we realize that there's four of the same thing. Repeated addition is multiplication. So we can do two and one fourth times four will give us nine miles per one hour. Julia is a little bit more complex and here's why. We're told that she travels three and three quarter miles in 25 minutes. The problem is, is that you can't break up a clock into 25 minute sections and complete the entire circle. So if I actually broke this up and did 25 minutes, it would look something like where my pen is flowing here. But you can see I'm not gonna be able to fit multiple 25 minutes in here and have it work out perfectly like Izzy's did. So it tells me I can't work with 25 minute intervals. But what I notice is, is that 25 is divisible by five and we can work with five minute intervals. So what I'm gonna do here is first divide these by five. And what we get is that five minutes is going to be equivalent to three quarters of a mile. Now that's something I can work with. So in terms of five minute intervals, we need to break up our clock. And basically every single one of our numbers on a clock, like 12 and one, there's five minutes in between those two. So I'm actually just gonna break it up into a normal clock. So let's start with breaking it up this way and this way and then we need to go diagonally so let's see we want to do oh, five minutes is about here i want to make sure i go right through the center there two o'clock would be about there then we have three o'clock four o'clock would be roughly here and you can see that they're creating numbers on the other side too and five o'clock would be roughly here. Okay, so we can number our clock if it helps, and we know that each one of these is going to represent a distance of three quarters of a mile. So if we count these up, there are 12 different sections that each represent three quarters. So just like we did over for Izzy, we're gonna take her distance of three quarters and multiply by 12. When you do that, you also get nine miles per hour. So this is how to do it using pictures. Another way to do this problem is representing it on a number line. I'm not gonna go into detail on this one because it pretty much is the same thing that we did in a table. You just do it on a number line form and we've seen this before in different examples. In this lesson, you have learned that a unit rate is a rate which is expressed as A over B units of the first quantity per one unit of the second quantity for two quantities A and B. For example, if a person walks two and one quarter miles in one and one quarter hours at a constant speed, then he, the unit rate is two. The person walks two miles per hour.